Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com doing a quick little 2020-2021 Upper Deck Series 1 uh, tin. Not a box, a tin. Random team break number two. We're going to do the break itself first, as always, and at the end we'll re-randomize all the 31 spots and the top six in the re-random at the end will get mixer spots. We got, only have to do one more of these. And we're sold out on the mixer. Let's get it done. Big thanks everybody here for getting into the action. Appreciate it. All the teams are in. All 31 are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Three and a two, five times for each list. One, two, three, four, and five. The break first, as always. When are the? Uh, when's that Seattle team gonna be in the action? The Kraken. And fifth and final time. Next year. So 2021-22 Upper Deck Products, Jack. Are, we, are you saying we should expect some some Seattle stuff? That would be pretty cool. All right, here's the first half-ish of the list right here. There's the second half of the list right here. Some Rangers right here for Kenneth. All right, let's sort by, no trade windows in this. Let's sort by column B, by team, and let's just print and rip. Do, do I wonder if the, the uh, expansion team cards will do well their first year. Do people, I'm sure, I'm sure people will collect. I'm, I want to say in my head, I think it's still player driven. It's gotta be, right? But if they pick like a good player, if they got a good rookie, a collectible rookie, that's gotta be huge then. All right, there's the final printout right here. Gotcha. So Jack's saying at the end of this season is the expansion draft and then the rookie draft. So yeah, so this, so after this season, then we'll start seeing Seattle stuff in next year's products. It's exciting. I didn't like having 31 teams on this list. Makes it a little confusing sometimes. Got to have, got to have the 32. Huh, the other one had like a bonus pack, but I guess this, this one doesn't. Oh no, there it is, right there. there. I was like, where'd that go? I was kind of hoping it'd be the Seattle Sockeye, which I thought would be kind of funny. Be like a weird fish mascot running around right but then also like when you get in fights you can get socked in the eye I mean, can't pass that up no jack says he has the entire 1969 montreal expos that the tops had that first year best players rusty stob so probably not worth that much so yeah so it's still player driven if they get like a top rookie you know or some big name rookie then maybe that'll that'll change things but all right we'll do a left right randomizer here at the end for those let's find some cool young guns cards shall we young guns there's some patrick kane dazzlers Sounds like a firework. That goes to Chicago. That'll be for Walt. And I think that they're going to compliment each other. I, I think everybody's debating. They're listening to all of this. And they're understanding. There's our first young guns. To prove everybody. Prove us wrong. Because nobody believes it's going to work. And we got a Dominic Kubelik for the Blackhawks for Walt. Canvas. The Jason Robertson Dallas Stars young guns card going to Jay Goins. Who has Dallas? Is this guy any good? I don't know my hockey. So you gotta help me out here. Judging from the silence in the chat. Maybe TBD, to be determined. 
There's a Connor McDavid right here. Why does he look so sad? Sad Connor McDavid. That'll be for Edmonton. That's going to go to Jonathan McClay. Yossi. And another Young Guns card, Peyton Krebs. Vegas Golden Knights. That'll be for Zach T. How about this guy? That high, oh, is he going over the thing or is he just high kicking? You know, he's not going over the thing. Bench. Just a nice high kick there. All right, let's see what we got in the OPG pack. Okay, he's good. Jack and Ben saying Krebs is a stud. So there you go. Nice one, Vegas. Zach Teal. And then we've got Jake Evans, Martin Kaut, and Liam Foudy. We've got a few rookies right here as well. A little bit of a bent corner in the bottom there, unfortunately. Maybe from the packaging or something like that, but there you go. All right. Now, the whole point of this is not the break itself, although if it turns out to be okay, that's not a problem, but we're giving away those mixer spots. That's the whole point of this break. And we also have to do a left-right randomizer on this as well. So let's go left-right randomizer on this. Let's pull up a new list, new tab. Let's go back to your names. Chris Miller with the Ducks down to Matt and the Jets. What's going on here? Control Z. Right. Keyboard acting weird. All right. Chris Miller down to Matt McLaughlin. Take two. Let's copy all those names and everybody in between. Let's get them all into this list here. One dice roll for, uh, for both lists. And it's going to be a hard six. Three and a three. One, two, three four, five, and sixth and final time. After six, right side will get him after six times. So right side, I think there was a, maybe just this card, maybe a couple others, checklist on the back. All right, three and a three, hard six for the six spots that were given away. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. Now, from seven on down, sorry. Boo. Boo randomizer. Boo these stupid filler breaks. Here's a silver lining, though. If you want, there is, there is another one we have to do to unlock that hockey mixer. So just want to give that another shot. Congrats to the top six, though. And for the, from seven down to 31, they hate these guys up here. They hate Jay, Jay, Jeremy, Darren, Steve Birch, and Glenn. But hey, congrats to you guys. Thanks for getting in. Really appreciate it. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.